It's now 615 <laughs> and Betsy Kling is here with a look at the weather forecast and we're going to smile yeah. because tomorrow is going to be nice. Yeah, it is. Mm. Tomorrow is March 1st, Russ. I'm going to catch everybody up. March 1st is the beginning of meteorological spring. That's right. Now you have to uh, get this right now. The first of the month of the month that the actual season starts, it's actually the meteorological start. Am I doing okay here? March, April, May is meteorological spring. Right. So meteorologists, we like to keep it simple. September 1st would be Three months fall. per season. Okay. The astronomical so folks, right? that's where so it gets right. kind of crazy. He was right, So yeah, right? March 1st, start of she, meteorological right. spring. She's the t professor. She's Nailed taught it. me that. Well Nailed done. Nailed it. Over the years, yeah. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. now you'd probably think, well, this is about the time we should start feeling spring. <laughs> Tomorrow is your day, Northeast Ohio. <laughs> I think you're going to like where things are going. And it won't last for long because it is spring. Temperatures in the low and mid 30s tonight, relatively steady with a lot of cloud cover around. These clouds have been hanging tough with us. We've gotten some peaks of blue sky. We've gotten some peaks of sun, but there are some clouds that are coming back our way. You can't help but see these uh, snow showers and rain showers that are lifting up into the Great Lakes region. And then also well to the west on the west coast, another huge storm system coming in. They are expecting feet of snow in the Sierra Nevada. They have rain all along the West Coast. So more problems plaguing the western portion of the United States. And of course, what happens west will eventually traverse east. And that's when we start to get interested in it. So we will do the divide and conquer thing. And immediately I'm going to throw this water vapor satellite on it. And you went, whoa, what is that? Water vapor satellite is a really useful tool for meteorologists to get better defined areas of high and low pressure and what's happening with the moisture in the atmosphere because the moisture is where it's at. You follow the moisture, you find the storms. Uh, and you can see where we had the rain showers and the snow showers in the north. This is all a storm system here. And then that huge western storm system that's coming in uh, that is coming in off of the Pacific. So we don't really have a lot of a defined circulation with all of this moisture that's sitting in the northern part of the country. But you can definitely see a curvature here. And that is a sign that this storm on the west coast is definitely more more powerful than what's going on and is coming our way first. So we're going to break it down here. We'll go one and two. So first we start with these snow showers that are sitting on, uh, you know, portions of Minnesota right now, the Dakotas. All of this is along a frontal boundary that uh, is north of a frontal boundary, I should say, that will eventually lead us into warmer temperatures. So say hello to spring as spring is sitting here in the mid Mississippi River Valley that will come surging in as we head through the day tomorrow. Meanwhile, on the West Coast, this storm system is going to take its sweet old time in getting here. Watch what happens this week. That West Coast storm system here in the jet stream starts to dig in and you can see this little defined area of that circulation makes its way into the Central Plain states and into the Western Great Lakes by Friday. So you think, OK, Friday looks like it could be a big day for us. We're looking at rain on Friday. More importantly, though, that storm system will allow a bit of a pattern change to set up. And overall, we will have a cooling in the northern portion of the United States. And this pattern holds steady. So as we go over the next several days, you're going to see that with this huge swing we have tomorrow in the 60s in your National Design Hour by Hour forecast, which, by the way, will not include the lakeshore areas thanks to that chilly Lake Erie. Uh, but this spike into the 60s does not last long. So we start tomorrow at 40. We make it into the 60s. Lakeshore areas, lakeside areas will stay in the 40s tomorrow, thanks to Lake Erie. But then look what happens as we start to see that overall pattern changing and settling in. We're going to hold in the 40s as we head through the rest of the week. There's your Friday rain in the Union Home Mortgage forecast, which could be heavy rain at that. But as of right now, it looks like we start to clear that rain out as we head through the weekend and into next week.